All right, this is Firemine here, and here's what we're going to create today. We are basically going to combine two animations. So we have this walking around animation, and we have a waving animation here. Or uh, maybe you want to even switch it up and have an animation of him holding a gun. Uh, it's really up to you. It's really easy just to exchange those animations. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty easy, pretty straightforward tutorial about how to combine two animations. Please enjoy. Okay, so we start off with this regular kind of third-person controller here. And as you can see, this is pretty much one animation of him running when I run around. So what I want to do now is I want to have his upper body perform a different animation than his lower body. Basically, I want to combine two different animations. The way I'm going to do this is first I'm going to go to the animator. And as you can see, I have different layers here. So if you come over here and click on layers, you have different animation layers. Um, you might only have the base layer depending on what animator you have, so don't worry about these two. I'm gonna explain or use them for now. So what I want to do is I want to create a new layer, uh, which is gonna be my upper body kind of thing. So whatever is on here, I'm gonna apply to the upper body. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to create that layer. I'm going to click on that little thing here and then apply a weight of one and an IK pass. Then I'm going to go over here, create a new empty state and I'm going to call that state, I don't know, wave because I'm going to make him wave with his upper body. And then I have a wave animation here and I'm going to assign that wave animation to him. And now I need to tell Unity somehow that he should apply this animation to the upper body and this animation to the lower body. And there's a pretty straightforward way to do this. Let's go back to our scene here. And I go to my prefabs folder. And you can do this in any folder you want. And then go to create avatar mask. So you have that avatar mask. I'm going to call that lower body. And I'm going to go ahead and create another one and call that upper body. Okay, now click on the lower body, go to here and click on humanoid. And on the lower body, we do not, you want to disable everything that is from the upper body, just like that. Do the same thing with the upper body. Here you want to disable the feet and those things. And now you want to apply those masks to the base and the upper layer. So you click this thing again, and here you choose a mask and you can choose, in this case, the lower body because you want the base layer to only animate the lower body. And then you choose the upper body and here you choose the upper body mask. Pretty straightforward. And that is already it. So now you can see he runs around and waves with his upper body. It looks a little bit strange because he has this hand not moving in uh, the upper body animation. Um, so yeah, you might want to use a different animation so you can pretty much go back to that wave and apply any kind of animation you like. Um, so maybe you want to, I don't know, is there something with shoot maybe? Yeah, combat shoot. So let's have him shoot. So let's run around. And he's doing like a, I don't know, shooting animation, I guess and or just holding the gun which looks a little bit more better for him as a soldier so yeah that's pretty much what you can how you can combine two animations pretty easy pretty straightforward you can of course combine multiple animations you can combine like a different animation for every limp that he has if you apply different masks to it that's really up to you so yeah, if you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more tutorials, please consider subscribing. And if you have any further requests for other tutorials, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like so other creators always know what's in demand.
And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.